Hi guys, I'm here today to show you some quick, fun, easy things you can do with your kids while you're at home. It should be stuff you already have in your kitchen. Some things are a little less messy than others, but these are my favorite easy, quick go-to things that will keep your kids occupied for longer than five minutes, hopefully. In summary, go in the grass outside and get some fun things and make your name with it. Shaving cream is a great activity on the table for letters, numbers, shape. Baking soda and vinegar. Tons of fizzy fun. Cornstarch and baby lotion or hair conditioner. Great Play-Doh. Soft. A no-cook Play-Doh. Flour, water, salt, and oil. Right here. Those are the three things you need. Then Oobleck. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a Play-Doh that you do not need to cook and you do not need cream of tartar. Fun and easy. So this is just an individual portion for one child. One cup of flour, a fourth a cup of salt, one tablespoon of oil, food coloring for fun. Just gonna start with a fourth a cup of warm water for now and add as we go. Of course, you can mix colors. Definitely gonna need more water, so let's increase this to another fourth of a cup, which would be a half a cup. All right. Just put this on the table. It's feeling a little sticky, so I'm gonna add some more flour. Keep playing with it till you get the consistency you want and the color you want. All right, have fun. Bye guys. The next recipe is what I call oobleck. Cornstarch and water, very easy. So I'll start off with a bowl for them to play with. And I also give it a second barrier for drippings and more fun. One cup of cornstarch to one cup of water. Let's make it purple. So I did blue. What would I need to add to make it purple? Does anyone know? Red, that's right. Red and blue make purple. Stir it together. That is way too liquidy. So I'm gonna add more cornstarch. This is what you want it to be like. All right, so watch. When I stir it, let's see if we can get this. It's kind of like solid and liquidy. It's kind of hard to stir, so watch this. This is so fun. It's like a solid when you touch on it, right? I can't get through it. It's a solid, but then if I sink, it's a liquid. Roll it into a ball. Look, it's a solid. This is a little gooey. I would probably add a little bit more cornstarch and then you let go and it turns into a liquid. So solid, liquid. liquid. Let me show you one more time how I pick it up. You gotta be fast with it. There's a solid. Here's a warm. Liquid. Okay. They love the colander with it because watch what happens here. Watch this. Put it in there. Mm. And it comes through like spaghetti. Spaghetti. Boring. Okay, show me the oobleck, John. It's a ball. Mm hmm. Solid. Can you see that? Anybody Keep it over the tray, please. Like. Ooh, liquid. then it turns to liquid. Now it's a. Uh... Now it's like a pancake. <laughs> We're going to make our names with things they find outside. So send them outside with a little bucket or a Ziploc bag and say, go find grass, flowers, rocks, pebbles, tiny little things that you can glue with your name. Here's their treasures they got outside. A piece of paper. Now, you could do two different things. You could write their name for them. You could have them write their name. I like to write it nice and big. Now the glue part is up to you also. You could do this for them or you could let them do it. They have so much fun creating this. Of course, this beautiful flower is for the J. You could do little sticks. Look at that. They will have so much fun doing this. So you write your name with things from outside. Hope you have fun.
The next recipe is needs cornstarch and baby lotion. I'm gonna do one cup of cornstarch. I'm using the half a cup measuring cup, so how many am I gonna need? Two. One. Whoa, and a half a cup of baby lotion. There we go, half a cup. Big one. What I would do probably is go wash my hands and get a nice clean surface to play with this on. And now it's amazing. Oh, I could play with this all, all day. day. The glitter, is, the glitter oh, actually shows up. I'm putting red. Let's do so it just a drop and see if we like it. I like this white. I like pink, but red and white makes pink. So, yeah. Ooh, and your hands are red. <laughs> All right, we're gonna put this away and go no, on the no, next. No, no, no. You can play with it. She'll play with it for a long time. Bye, guys. Hi, guys. I'm still playing with this stuff. It's 24 minutes later, and I'm still playing with this. It's just so fun. Yeah. So, it's my favorite color, red. Mine's pink and blue. And purple. Here is another favorite. All you need is shaving cream. The best part about this is easy cleanup. All right, so John, let's see. What do you want to make with it? Sight words. John wants to do sight words, so go ahead. He's in the background playing with fizzy hearts or fizzy flowers, fizzy science stuff. Can you write the word C? S E E. Good job, John. You could use um, your flashcards that your school gave you. You could just do their name. You could just do letters. Very easy, right? You could do math with it. Could you write on there one plus one? Oh, uh, yeah. One plus one equals. He has to do fancy ones all the time. Equals? Equals. Two. Good job. I tell them they have to play with it till it disappears, right? You just keep playing, keep playing. Eventually, it'll go away. So no cleanup for you. Just keep playing until you have fun. I mean, till it's all gone, right? Till it disappears. But if you do need to clean it up, I need it up. one simple rag. We'll clean this whole pile. Have fun, guys. Hey, what did you do? One of my all-time favorites and the kids' all-time favorites all you is fizzy fun. All you need is some baking soda and vinegar. I love using my fancy trays. Moms, you might just have your good old cookie sheet. I give each of my kids a little cup of baking soda and a little cup of vinegar. I give them a spoon, some sort of tiny little measuring medicine, squirts. This is a fun one to fill up and squirt. Of course, a medicine dropper. Hopefully you have one of those at home. This is the best tool for it. Food coloring makes it fun. I thought we'll try an egg. You don't have to have any of this be creative. Cookie cutter makes it fun just to pour the, so watch this, you pour the um, baking soda into the flour, get your drop of vinegar. Let's see if you wanna see this. Watch this fizziness happen. Oh my goodness, the kids love this. Little mini volcanoes. You see my food coloring here? Yes, you can make it more fun by adding a drop of food coloring. Promise, this is not gonna like ruin your floor forever, okay guys? So there's some red. Ooh, let's put it in an egg. Yes. What shape is an egg, boys and girls? <gasps> Oval. Oh my goodness, it's coming out of the holes. This is my group of kids right now's favorite activity. Right, Holly? You love fizzy stuff. <gasps> Look at that. Hope you have fun. Let me see all what you guys did. Hi, another fun, easy activity would be 
your homemade water table. This will keep your kids occupied for hours. So just fill it with water and your favorite kitchen utensils, measuring cup, go find this in the garage, measuring spoons. You could even add Easter eggs to it. You could fill the eggs with water. Look at that. To add a little bit more fun, if you're brave, drop a food coloring will make their day. Marie, what could we add for fun? My favorite is Johnson & Johnson baby shampoo, but Miss Kristen's all out. So I'm just gonna do three good old squirts of hand soap, make some bubbles. That will add a whole nother dimension and make this another day of fun. If you like these recipes and you had fun, please hit subscribe, comment down below, and stay tuned for more fun things. Bye guys.